From the cars we drive to the food we eat, most elements of society rely on energy, energy that comes from coal, oil and natural gas. But this addiction is having devastating consequences on our planet. By burning fossil fuels, we are releasing harmful emissions that are causing our climate to change at unprecedented speed. And we are already experiencing more severe and more frequent extreme weather events, including storms and heat waves that are contributing to poverty, displacement, hunger and conflict. A rapid transition towards clean energy, such as solar and wind, is vital to avoid runaway climate change. These energy sources have additional benefits by reducing pollution and geopolitical tensions, providing green jobs and giving energy access. Well, there are some promising signs. Firstly, since 2012, we have installed more renewable energy than fossil fuel power plants. Secondly, the cost of these technologies is falling dramatically. Solar generated electricity is now cheaper than that generated by fossil fuels. And thirdly, uh, off-grid renewable energy solutions are improving energy access. Between 2011 and 2016, the number of people with access to renewable energy grew sixfold, reaching 133 million. A world powered by renewable energy is possible, but getting there will require a complete transformation of our global economy. The main barrier is a political one. Fossil fuels are an important income for many countries and companies, and powerful voices are often reluctant to see change in order to protect their income and interests. But in November 2021, a critical meeting of the United Nations aims to address this issue. Ahead of this conference, all governments are expected to have put forth updated plans for how to reduce or limit the rise in their emissions by 2030, with the aim of keeping the 1.5 degree target of the Paris Agreement alive. But these alone are insufficient. Averting runaway climate change can only be achieved with public support. So now is the time to speak up in support of international cooperation to develop low carbon strategies. And ensure that governments only support equitable, low carbon and sustainable developments from now on.